Hi, I'm George Cow, and I want to show you how to stream a Zoom meeting onto Facebook Live and also how to do this on YouTube Live and if you want to do do it to both at the same time using a paid software called StreamYard. But let me first show you how to do it for free if you just want to stream directly to Facebook Live or directly to YouTube Live. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to log in to your Zoom account. Just this is a one-time activity that you need to change your Zoom settings to allow live streaming to the, to these platforms. So go to zoom.us and then, uh, or to, I guess zoom.us is the website even for multiple countries, I believe. Um, and then go to my account. When you click on my account, you'll then click on settings on the left hand side and then you'll need to find the live stream settings. So the easiest way to find it, because it's a very, very long settings page, the easiest way is to do Command F on your keyboard or on Windows, it's Control F. And, and once you do that, you can search on this web page, Facebook, and it'll jump you down to the section of the settings page that says allow live stream, allow live streaming meetings. Make sure that is turned on. So make sure it looks blue and then check the boxes, Facebook and YouTube. I don't worry about these other two because I never use these other two. So I just check these two. And then, um, once I've done that, then it it's now I can stream using a Zoom meeting into those platforms. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Zoom, open up a Zoom meeting with myself now. You can have multiple people in your Zoom meetings and still stream to Facebook Live or YouTube Live, but I'm just going to do it with myself right now as if I'm, you know, using this uh, as a as a lecture. You know, if I wanted to share my screen, it's very useful that, to use Zoom to do this. All right. So what we do is once we open a Zoom meeting, whether people are here or not, we can click on more and then click on live on Facebook. So I'm going to show you that first. Okay. So you can stream to your Facebook timeline, which is your Facebook profile where your friends are, or you can stream to a friend's timeline, which is kind of silly, uh, stream into a group, whether that's a public group or a private group, stream to an event, whether that's a public event that you host or a private event. Okay. And you can also stream onto a business page. Or a professional page that you manage. So I'm going to go ahead and click on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose my business page, uh, George Cow Authentic Business Coach. Okay. And, uh, just make sure that both of these are the same. Okay. That your, your professional or business page, uh, are both showing up in these two places. And then click on next. Okay. And then, um, it will say that it's preparing the stream. And this usually takes just a few seconds, but, if it takes longer than a minute, maybe something's wrong, but uh, uh, it usually not too long. All right. So now you see the preview on the left side is the preview is usually a few seconds behind the current moment. So in case you're wondering why it seems to be lagging, it won't be lagging in the the, the real. Actually, uh, your viewers who are watching it on Facebook, it may also be a few seconds behind. But of course, don't worry about it. Um, they will see the full video just like you are streaming except they will be a few seconds behind. Okay. So, uh, here is where you can describe the live video. Just like in any Facebook video, you can have a, a long description of, you know, many paragraphs if you want to, including links or whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to type in here. I'm testing out for a, I I'm demonstrating on a video how to stream from zoom into Facebook live. Okay. And then, you know, like I said, you can do multiple paragraphs. I'm just going to keep it really simple here and do one quick paragraph. Uh, the title, it's a good idea to put in here. Um, testing, well, I'm just going to put testing one, two, three, but you could put a real title in there. That's better for the algorithm that way. You could put tags if you want to, just like when you upload a video on Facebook, you could, you could use tags. You could even share to multiple groups. So post to your page and share to multiple groups at the same time. And you can then share to multiple meetings. Um, you know, at the same time, it's really sophisticated. You could share, stream your, your, your zoom into all these different places at the same time, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'm just going to click on, and I think the, the choose groups, you have to type in something. There you go. And so I'm able to choose, um, you know, uh, a particular group that I run. Um, you know, this doesn't, oh, well, I, I see. I, uh, 
You know, this, this, this is a little bit buggy, I've noticed. For example, I, I have a group called Master Hard 2020. It's not showing up here. So it's a little bit, it's not as reliable. If you want to stream directly to a group, then in the previous uh, place where I showed you, you could choose timeline or group. That's where you choose to stream to a group. But here, we're already choosing to stream on a business page. So that's why these other things, this one doesn't work as well. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Now when I click on, so uh, by the way, you can, you can skip the settings and interactive. I don't usually use those. I don't click on those at all. I don't worry about anything on the left hand side. Um, auto generated captions is automatically turned on usually. And I just simply write what I need to describe about this in the title and I click on go live. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. So once I click on go live, once it's set, once it's, you're, you're seeing this, you're actually live already. So you should begin speaking into the camera lens and say, hi everyone. I'm George Cow and I'm going to teach you today about this and that. I'm, I'm, for those of you who are watching this live, I'm actually doing a demonstration of how to stream from Zoom to Facebook Live. So that's why this is not my typical kind of video. I'm just doing a very, very short one here. So once you are done with your teaching or with whatever the Zoom uh, demonstration is, or whatever you're, you're trying to do to the Facebook Live. See, right now, by the way, you might be wondering, George, why are we here on this screen? I, I'm, I'm actually streaming to Facebook Live. If, if you look at my Zoom, right? I'm going to just take my browser away and look at my Zoom application. It's, it shows you I'm live on Facebook. If I click on here, I can click on stop live stream. But at the moment, I am still live on, on my Facebook page. But when you stream live on Facebook, it's weird that they bring you, um, the browser just brings you to the Facebook home screen, your newsfeed. So you're not sure you're, if you're streaming live or not, but you actually are. So that's why you need to be aware of this and you test it out a few times before you realize what's really going on. But anyway, if I'm done with my live stream, and, and by the way, if I wanted to see what the comments are, if anyone is interacting on my, on my Facebook live, uh, I basically go to the page where I'm streaming to. So I'm going to just go to George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. This is my Facebook business page. And you could see here, just by searching it, it gives you immediately a live video where I'm actually streaming. And uh, this is where I can see if there's any comments right now. There are no comments right now. So that's the quickest way to check if there is um, there are comments. And once you are finished streaming, here's what you do. You you go back to your Zoom uh, application, which is right here, and you click on this button here and you click on stop live stream. All right. So now I'm off of Facebook Live as of that moment. So, OK, now let me show you how to stream to YouTube Live from a Zoom meeting. So as usual, you open up the Zoom meeting. You made sure, like I showed you earlier, how to make make sure you're uh, like it's that the one time activity of making sure your Zoom account can stream. That's only one time. You don't need to do it every time. Uh, but I'm assuming you've already done that. And you click on more down here. You click on live on Facebook. Or sorry, live on, on, on YouTube. And it'll open up a browser window. And it says broadcast Zoom meeting to YouTube live. And here's what's cool about it. You can stream publicly to your YouTube channel. Or you can stream as unlisted, which means nobody else will know until after the, the, the YouTube Live is done and you share the link with your followers or with, with people on an email list or whatever. Or you can stream privately. And this is streaming privately is if you want to make a quick Zoom video uh, for your clients or for somebody else and, uh, and then share it with them through, through YouTube. I think actually streaming unlisted is more convenient because you can immediately get a link to share with somebody. But if you just, if you, if you're not sure whether unlisted will accidentally share it with people, stream private and you can still change it to public or unlisted later. So, um, but if you, if you want real time interaction, if you're just doing it publicly, if you're just like, Hey, I want to, I want to reach my followers right now and stream live, then the public option is, is very typical. You want to make sure you are also, um, uh, changing the title here automatically this will be your zoom meeting room title but you could say uh, testing I'm just doing the testing right now but you could do your actual title you know actual YouTube video title which you can also change later but when you're streaming live people want to see what the title is anyway but I'm just going to do testing a zoom meeting into YouTube live okay and then public privacy you know and then click go live okay so once I click go live it's going to, now I'm live. As you can see the screen, I'm actually live on YouTube. 
uh, now. I think it's actually, I'm not sure about the YouTube one. Uh, the thing is you can trim your uh, YouTube video later. So later I'm going to show you how I trim I my, uh, oh, it's going to, now I'm live. Okay. So um, I don't know if you could hear the, uh, the, the computer video. I don't remember if I, I'm sharing the computer video with you, but um, uh, you could see that uh, I'm going to change, I'm going to turn this down so it doesn't distract me. But this is live on YouTube now, as you can see. And you can see my, my title uh, says testing a Zoom meeting to YouTube live, like I showed you earlier how to write that. And uh, any chats will come through here. Um, Corey says first. So Corey is the, the first chatter here. Um, and I could even say, you know, I can say things back if I want to. But usually when I stream on YouTube Live or Facebook Live, I'm just focused on delivering my message. I'm not usually interacting with my followers. I, I, I usually comment on their things later because I just want to, because I know that most of the people watching are going to be watching in the future, not live. So that's why I try to make the video experience more pleasant for most of the people by by just not interacting with my followers yet until later. So um, the thing about um, YouTube Live chat is that these chat messages will no longer be saved after you finish the, the live stream. Facebook Live is different. When you do Facebook Live, those chats are going to be live uh, or are going to be available later as well. And as, if you can, I don't know if you can tell, but my, my cat is yelling at me. So let me stop the recording for a second here. Okay, so let's continue on now that I've let my cat out the room um, so okay so once you uh, so just so just so you know the live chat on YouTube is um, only available when you're streaming live so you might want to maybe on YouTube there is a if you're streaming live on YouTube you might want to um, interact with the, the comments before you uh, finish the live stream so that you could still interact otherwise later you can't find them again unlike on Facebook where you can find the, the, the live chats later. Okay, so with that, I'm going to stop my YouTube live stream. And as usual, I'm gonna click up here, live on YouTube, click there, click stop uh, live stream. And now I'm off of YouTube. Okay, so um, I wanna show you uh, a couple things. I wanna show you um, how to use a, a new software I'm using called StreamYard to stream to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So I'm going to show you that. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you how to, um, uh, how to trim the Facebook Live and YouTube Live video because usually, um, you know, there's a couple seconds in the beginning where, you know, we're still trying to figure out if we're live. Okay. So let me show you the StreamYard software. And I have to say it is a paid software. Uh, it's StreamYard.com, and once you log in, set up an account, and add what's called your destinations, you connect your various uh, pages where you want to stream live. You can stream to all of your destinations at the same time. It's pretty cool, depending on how much you're paying for the membership on StreamYard. So, like I said, only do this if you you're only going to be paying if you want to stream to multiple platforms at the same time. If you want to do it for free, you could do it one at a time just using Zoom uh, itself. Okay, so I'm going to actually do a couple things. I'm going to stop my my Zoom meeting now, end meeting. Okay, and then um, uh, that's great. Okay, now I'm going to because because here's the thing: when you're using Streamyard, you don't need to be using Zoom, and you shouldn't be using Zoom because Streamyard has its own video platform to record your video and audio etc so anyway once you log into StreamYard, click on broadcasts on the left click on create a broadcast and i'm just going to select streaming to my business page and my youtube channel at the same time okay you can stream to all these i can stream to all these volunteers i'm going to just stream to those two right now and then here when i write the title and description i'm doing it for both of those places and i would recommend that you do that before you click on customize for each test. So do this first. So testing one, two, three, again, uh, testing, testing, uh, uh, stream yard into FB and YT live. Um, I'm just testing stream yard, demonstrating it <laughs> for my audience. Okay. And then you could even stream yard allows you to schedule it for later so that, um, your, uh, yeah, um, actually, I haven't tried this feature before. You can test that out yourself. You could basically have people 
click on on Facebook. Uh, yeah, they can be reminded that you're going to be streaming, uh, even though you're recording it right now. Um, so I'm just going to anyway ignore this for now. I usually stream in real time. I click on customize for each destination. That's really the next thing I have to do. That's the only thing I could do. Customize for each destination. And then here is where I can either customize it here on YouTube, on Facebook or customize it on YouTube. I just basically click on whichever one I want to customize. But the nice thing is I did it earlier to both places. I earlier when I type these in, there's both places populated. And then basically when I'm ready, I click on doesn't matter which one I'm on. It's going to stream to both places. I click on create broadcast. Okay. All right. So now StreamYard is loading and, um, basically it takes i notice it takes like 30 seconds for streamyard to find my video camera as well as my audio so if you see this problem don't worry don't freak out it's just testing something in the backdrop and trying to figure out which camera you're now see i haven't done anything and already figured out what my camera and my audio is but you can click on cam mic if you want to change uh which camera it's showing which audio etc okay and you, there's even advanced options with, okay, there's just one thing right here. Okay, so settings, a mic is working, as you can tell from the green bars. And then display name, you just want to put your name and your brand. Uh, it basically will show up at the bottom of the Facebook Live and the YouTube Live. I click on enter broadcast studio. Once I'm done with the display name, enter this broadcast studio. All right, now I'm in the broadcast studio and I'm not yet streaming live until I click go live. Now, here's a trick, okay? You have to click on yourself. They're basically the stream right now has nothing. So you have to click on yourself, right? Add to stream here to add yourself to the actual stream before you go live. Uh, the nice thing about StreamYard is you can have multiple people. You can click on invite and invite guests. It'll give you a link to invite somebody else to, to join your stream. And basically this is the, what's called the green room, meaning this is where you all prepare yourselves. Make sure you can hear each other. Make sure you're, you're testing the different ways of showing the different people. It's just me right now, so that's why you're not seeing any other formats uh, show up. But if there were two people, I could be side by side with them. I could be like the, the, the person speaking is the bigger one and the person not speaking are the smaller ones, etc. All these different fancy ways of doing it. But I'm gonna, just going to select this because this is just me right now. And once I've selected the formats and I've clicked on myself, I can see myself here. Um, now I can also see on the right hand, upper right hand side, I'm streaming to YouTube. Um, you know, I can even remove too if I want to, don't want to uh, stream to Facebook or, or this one. I'm streaming to both right now. And then now I'm going to click go live. Okay. Ready to go live? Click go live. All right. So it's loading and all right. So you can see once it says live up here on the top left, you are live. So it's a little bit more um, convenient to do it on StreamYard because you don't have as much of the issue as, am I live yet? Am I live yet? Where Because once you see it says live on the right, uh, upper left, you know you're live. Now, the cool thing about this um, StreamYard is um, live viewers uh, will show you both the live viewers from Facebook and YouTube. But as you can see, it's not perfect. It says I have two facebook live viewers and zero youtube live viewers even though Corey just showed that he's a first chat on on uh on, on youtube and i can and now there's five people right it says i have five facebook live viewers zero youtube live viewers which is not true because i know at least Corey is here um but here check this out i could chat to all my platforms hi everyone testing things out here um i could chat to both platforms and it's going, you can see immediately it goes to both Facebook and, and, and YouTube. And, um, the cool thing is that here with StreamYard, wait, an error occurred. Wait a moment, Dragon. I don't know why. It usually goes through just fine. So this is a little weird bug. But, um, okay. And Linda is on Facebook. Thank, thanks, Linda, for, for saying hi there. And so the cool thing about StreamYard is you can manage all the platform comments in one place. And so that's really fun. And the, the other cool thing is you can show any comment, right? If I click on show here on Corey's, it'll show it right there on the screen for everybody to see both on YouTube and Facebook. And so again, I'm going to show Linda's comment now. And it says, you know, Linda's, I'm on Facebook. And, uh, 
Trina says, I love your background. Thank you very much. This is actually real. This is organic background. This is my actual office. Um, and Linda says, am I able, supposed to see your screen? No, you're, you're, I'm just showing everybody a particular software. This is not a real video demonstration video that uh, I may remove later, but I will upload the real one later where I, I show uh, how I'm doing all this. Um, and you can see up here, and I, once I'm done with a comment, I can click hide again uh, to hide that comment. And there's my name again. And again, if I move my mouse over the top left, you can see there's nine Facebook viewers, one YouTube viewer, and there's one like uh, you know, from, from, from Trina there on Facebook. And so it's really nice that this is doing it all in two places at once. You're, you're having this central control panel that, um, everything's here. Okay. So now that I'm finished and I can, like I said, I can chat with people. Thanks. Uh, thanks Linda and Trina. Okay. So I'm chatting there. Um, and Corey. Okay. So I'm chatting, I'm chatting there to everybody. I could also chat specifically to just YouTube people or just Facebook people. And that would be more sophisticated to, to do that. But all destination is kind of a lazy way of doing it. And so once I'm done with all this, I will click on end broadcast on the top right. And let me show you what happens here. Okay. And it says, are you sure you want to end the broadcast? And I click yes, end the broadcast. So there, remember there's two buttons to click. There's one and then the confirm button here End broadcast. Okay. So now it's the broadcast has ended. Did, did it go well? Just give StreamYard some feedback if you want to. And the other cool thing about StreamYard is now, um, the comments. Oh, and I didn't even show you the banners. You could do banners and brand private chat. I haven't even done any of this stuff. I just really use the comments area. Uh, the cool thing is that, um, you know how I said on YouTube live, once you stop streaming, you lose all the comments. Well, StreamYard, if you stop, if I close this browser window, I'll lose all the comments from YouTube. The, the, the Facebook comments, like I said, are already on the Facebook Live video. It'll stay there forever. But the YouTube comments, I can still see it. Even though I ended the broadcast, I can still see it here. So I can take notes of them uh, and who commented if I wanted to reach out to them later. All right. So that's StreamYard. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I can close the browser now because my, my broadcast is already finished. And now I'm going to show you how to um, trim the Facebook live video and the YouTube live video just the first few seconds because you might want to do that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Facebook and I'm going to go to my business page and I'm going to go to um, my uh, I'm going to go to posts. So this shows me my latest my latest posts. Um, quickly. All right, here we go. My latest post. All right. So I, I, the stream yard, uh, shouldn't have to, shouldn't have to trim, uh, because like I said, I knew when, it, when it went live right away, but I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to this one and trim this one. So the way I trim it is I believe I click on the three dots and I click on edit post. Okay. All right. Edit post. Yes. So I get to this edit post or edit video screen and then I scroll down and I click on video trimming. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here I scroll down on the left and this is how I do it. I click on the up arrow to basically go uh, to fast forward the video just a little bit at a time. Watch. I'm going to click up arrow several times, multiple times. You can see I'm like, right? Usually I'm quiet. Usually I'm like trying to figure out my mouth is usually closed. And then I usually, I usually basically uh, get to a place where my mouth starts to open when I know that I'm actually starting to stream live. And then when I'm done there from that moment, I will then scroll down on, uh, oh, you know what? I can't scroll down because my screen is too big. I'm going to shrink my screen a little bit here. Okay. There you go. And then this is where I can click save. Okay, I'm going to do that, do that right now. I'm not going to trim that much. I'm just going to pretend that, uh, okay. I'm going to click save. Okay. And now, even though it's, it just brings me right back to my Facebook business page, it's actually processing in the background. And in maybe a few minutes or sometimes half an hour to an hour, it will be the trimmed version instead. All right. So now let me go and show you how to trim the YouTube uh, video that we did. So you have to go to YouTube Studio, which if you click on yourself on the top right, uh, click on YouTube Studio. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and find my video on the left hand side videos. Okay. And I'm going to click on the live. Okay. Which is, I went live, click on live. And then I'm going to, uh, um, I'm going to edit this one by clicking edit. 
Okay, edit. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to click on the um, editor icon. Editor, okay? Okay, so here under editor icon, I'm going to simply, uh, I'm going to actually zoom in on the right hand side so that I can see it with more fine details. I can, uh, you know, see, I can, yeah, see with more fine details the, the number of seconds. So yeah, so now this is really the first, the first couple of seconds, right? So let's say I wanted to trim. See, if I, if I click and drag this, this uh, gray dot, I will be able to see the video fast forward here in the center. So I'm going to click and drag the gray dot and I can see, you see, it looks like I'm not really sure I'm live yet, right? And I'm going to keep going until I'm, I'm sure I'm live. But usually my mouth is closed because I'm not sure. I'm not usually talking, but, um, Let's say I wanted to start here. Okay. Drop it off. Uh, I click trim. I think I may have done it wrong. I click trim. Okay. And then again, once I click trim, I have to zoom in one more time. Okay. Zoom in again. Scroll to the left. And I basically drag from this point left. Whoops. Uh, click here. You know what? I, I made a mistake. I actually, I actually needed to click trim first before I dragged it before actually no that was correct to show me where I wanted to stop the trim but now I have to once I click trim I have to then drag this blue bar on the left drag the blue bar to where I I, I set it earlier this is where I wanted to, 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 to trim out okay once I've done that I click on split okay okay once I click split I will then click preview all right. Okay. And I think preview, if I, if I start here, it'll start the video there. And then I click on save and it'll say, Hey, viewers will still see the current version while it's still processing in the background. You can't make other changes, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to click save. Okay. So now this is going to process in the background of YouTube and maybe in half an hour or so, my video on YouTube will show the, the new version. So anyway, I know I showed you a lot in in this video but i really hope this was helpful and any questions you have you can just let me know by commenting below all right have fun and go and give these things a try